through of my classic happy planner um, since I've made some changes or added a few things. I made a ton of purchases from cloth and paper. Well, I guess not a ton of purchases. I just, I got, I think I received two um, sub boxes now um, from them. So I think I started in May. So I've got the May and the June and then I made a few orders. Um, also, I have some exciting information to share with you at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Um, I don't like to sound generic and that's why normally I don't talk in my videos because my voice tends to do that. Um, so I'll try not to do that but in this video I'll talk to you so um, let's just get started. So I got this vellum paper from Cloth and Paper. This is from the June sub box which was their 5th anniversary box. This is from the Happy Planner and this is out of the... Um, what is this from? This came from the be, either the Be Happy box, Wild Styles box, or the Companion. I think it was from the Companion. I'm not so sure. I'm excited because I finally get to start using my vertical layout, which I have not used for a few years. Well, maybe a year and a half, maybe. Um, I started playing around with different layouts and planners so I'm back to where it all began um, so I just put my name on here and these stickers are from the Wild Style collection I really don't like how this turned out but because um, I liked how it looked before when it was just white and black but I did want to mark important days so here I'm just marking birthdays anniversaries and events vacation or if I'm off work all in one um, so I did this year and next year. This right here is, this was in my planner trash in my office and my husband was trying to find something to write on and he wrote this and put it on my desk so I wanted to keep that and put it in my planner so I can look at it every time I open my planner. So it wasn't around, it wasn't inside of trash with like trash trash, it was like paper trash. If that makes anybody understand that more. Um, this I don't know what to use for because I'm like why would I put these dates and events and things in this spread if I already have it written down showing here I don't know because they're both like maybe it would be easier to see it on these pages but I was trying to think of something I know there's a ton of ideas that you can use this for um, that were shared, especially Kelly with Plan. She always has great ideas on what to use certain pages for, um, but I still haven't thought of that. Um, so this is the beginning of July. This is the currently page, um, and I just put a, some stickers down. My husband's birthday so far, and then the verse James 1:17 verse that I found in my Bible app. Um, it says every good and perfect gift is from a gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly light who does not change like shifting shadows so i'm going to put that in there um then i highlight it with a gray mild liner this is the morning mind mindset sheet um if you go to cloth and paper's youtube channel they show you um i think it's maddie's her name shows you how to use this really effectively she puts like a note sheet right under here and then next to each one she lists the numbers um she writes like goals for each one and then under below behind it it's, it's really cool you need to go check that out so i was gonna do that but i want to keep this up front so i can see it this is my inbox sheet or divider dashboard um and i just stick all of my sticky notes here and then I have a few of them like here there's like a little stack of each one here um, this is just a to-do list that I have from last week actually and I want to track habit of eating my four cups of vegetables that I've been doing because I've been slacking on that I've only been eating one cup a day I'm supposed to be eating four this is a little secret here um, I put some more sticky notes on the back of this. This is really cool because you can just stick these sticky notes, just a few of them. 
so they're not too um, heavy or packed up. Um, and you can put them on the back as well. And so if I need a sticky note, I can come to this dashboard. This is a divider that I got and received from my sister friend, um, Shannon, who owns her own company called Planet A Journey and Becoming. And she has productivity sheets that are so awesome, but this was something that she added in my, um, when I purchased from her, she added this in there and I thought that was so sweet. And it's foiled. I'm so excited because she's sending me some new dividers with this new material. Um, ooh, I'm so excited to get that. So I'll show you where I have her, like these. I'll get to that in a second. The next thing is the Iconic. This also came in the June cloth and paper box. Um, and honestly, I just want them in my planner. I just don't know where to put them that where they like make sense. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but I wanted this to be behind this divider. I don't know. I don't know where to put this, but this is where it's going to be. So basically it's going to be covering, I'm trying out the cloth and paper inserts. Um, the, this is the July currently page. So the July currently page from Happy Planner here, and then I have another one here. So here it's just more fun, decorative, quotes, birthdays. Here it's more like important dates, bills due, to-do list, stuff I need to work on, things like that. Um, and then I can check it off. I really like this clean look. And I have just like a little rose gold clip. This is my monthly for from the cloth and paper box. Same, it came with the same insert. So you get a whole month for July. And I love this layout. It, this certain layout will not be available until January because they give you a whole year. Um, I think. I think that's true. Um, but they still have their... Like, I think if you were to purchase one right now, it would run a whole year. And I wouldn't want to do that if I wanted to switch this type of layout. Um, this I was just playing around with and highlighted some things. Um, but the week actually, I've already did that. The week, it looks like this, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this layout from cloth and paper, but this is, well, not this one. This one is from the July or the June box as well. Um, so before it looked a little bit different. Um, this one has your three priorities here and it's lined and I love it. And the paper quality is perfect. Like, I love it. Like, I just want to stare at it and touch it. That's how much I love it. Um, so I put this in the beginning, but before or after the currently page of the Happy Planner. And then I, this is like, this section here was added in to the Wild Style section. So I have this little chunk of goodness here. Um... Then last night I attempted to record and it was at a horrible angle. Um, you guys shouldn't be looking at that one. That's some ideas that me and my friend have. Um, so this is just some things that I wrote down. I mean, I was like really sloppy with my handwriting too. But um, I do like this, how clean it is. Ooh, I can't wait for that to come out. I honestly, I just don't know. I like the vertical layout and that's what I want to continue with um, because I have an 18 month planner and this planner is just like legit. This is the sheets that I use to pre-plan and so this one I just stuck in here. My other pre-plan sheet, what did I do with it? But I like to pre-plan on those. I'm waiting on a package from Cloth and Paper and it's the the huge calendar weekly um, layout and you can just like rip them off. I'm waiting on that because I'm just going to have that on my desk and pre-plan on that. If I don't want to pre-plan on these, I mean, or I could do both, pre-plan on my desk, pre-plan on this and put it in my planner when I'm on the I don't. If I don't feel like planning for that week or something, I can still have it planned out for the week, if that makes any sense. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the July spread that I have not attempted yet. Just like one sticker for my husband's birthday next week. And then a doctor's appointment. 
So I really enjoy filling out my monthly spreads. Um, I don't know, I like that. This is this current week. This is today, Sunday. Um, and I loved how it turned out. So, I mean, I, I just, I feel like I'm gonna be doing both layouts. Well, no. What, yeah, I don't know, y'all. Like, this, like, makes my heart happy, too. This layout does. And this is just like a Cornell Notes sheet that I just stuck in the middle of here. Put some notes. Um, and then this is this week. And like I said, I was planning this late last night and just like, really just wrote it in really fast. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take these little dots out. These are from the cloth and paper. I don't like how the pink is looking. I might just use like little boxes. Cause I don't know, I don't like how the pink is clashing, it's, it's too busy. And I like it to look a little bit more simple, but I was inspired by um, a well-planned life. Um, she's, gar she's a gardener, gardener, Siobhan, couldn't think of it. But anyway, her garden is so beautiful, so I saw these stickers and I was like, I want a little garden in my planner, because I am not a green thumb chick. Really, my, um, my family is, but and yesterday I uh, text them and let them know my orchid is dying. And they were like, it's not dying, it goes through these stages. And anyway, all that to say that I just wanted a garden on my little spread this week. So I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, is take those off or just leave it, leave it alone. I mean, I like the black and white look with the, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down. Thanks down in the comments below. So this is just a blank sheet, very minimal. Love it. Both of these just make me happy. So here's their spread, and here's mine. Or this is their layout from cloth and paper, and this is Happy Planner. They're both minimal. This one's more sophisticated. This one's more. I mean, it's just cute. Um. Okay. This is another one of those dividers, and I stopped, I only put one month in here because I have so many tabs in the back, and it, I like it to be, to feel good in my hand, and it was kind of, you know, it's just perfect. I don't want it to be thick. Um, so uh, in this section, this is one of their dividers that I wanted to keep with the five-year plan that's here. Um, I really, it doesn't really match my planner theme, but it's still simplistic. Um, sorry, I'm trying to adjust my feet. So, um, I kept that in there. This is the five-year plan, which I have not filled out yet. Um, but she gives you tips in an intro on how to start your five-year plan. You then get Five years from now, I guess you write a note here where you would like to be in five years. Then ask yourself if you're doing today, what you're doing today is going, getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. And this is just a divider. And this is your personal five-year plan. This is just has main goals, strategy, resources, personal audit, obstacles, objectives for personal objective yearly goals monthly weekly daily and then it has a little prompt so it helps you fill these out and the vision board two-page vision board what does your ideal personal life look like then here we go with personal milestones um, so you just put the date of your personal milestones what you've accomplished and they give you quite a bit one two three four five six seven eight ten so you get 20 milestones which is awesome and then a note page on the back another divider sheet to everyone who's pursuing pursuing I guess I don't have to read that but um, it's just a plain simple divider sheet this is your professional five-year plan vision board all the same 20 milestones and note page Okay, and then this one is for your financial five-year plan. This is really awesome. Note page. 
another divider, health and lifestyle, five years, and that's it. So you get five goals to work on for your five year plan. Personal, and they have them here. Personal, professional, financial, and health and lifestyle, so four. Okay, and then I get into the tabs and I just put little, um, what are these called? Whatever these are called, that's what it is. Sticky note, no? I can't even think. That's what it is though, and I just put the title of each section, and this is from Cloth and Paper Divider, um, and this is what I got from Shannon, A uh, Journey in Becoming her shop and I love these quotes that she puts on here um, she also has like I said a um, productivity set that I love this is just a monthly brain dumping section then I have my dailies here that I just to sit in here and I have it with the same little quote and I'm gonna be switching these out with the new ones that she sends me what I'm so excited about um, and then I just stick dailies in here. They're supposed to be blank, but I stuck the ones that I've already completed at the top. Um, and these are really cool. These are from, I think, the May sub box, or maybe this is the June. Not so sure, but it's really clean. Um, and then I have some more here. So here you have your priorities box, to-do list, the date, what day of the week. A note section and a schedule that's undated so you can put in your own schedule on this one you have three priorities at the top bold highlighted in black to do section your notes is over here an undated schedule and a dot grid to put whatever you would like here don't know which which one would fit me better um, but I've been trying these ones out so far and I like them Next section is my wish and contact list section. And my wish list is long and strong, <laughs> going strong. And I have it for different, so I have planner, um, lash stuff for my lash things I want to get and for my office um, so far. And I'm gonna do a gift section, um, but yeah. I like those pages. This next section is productivity. Um, and you know what? I guess the productivity sheet. The monthly. I don't know why I don't have anything in here. Oh, because that's all I got. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to fill this with the productivity sheet that I get from her shop. Uh, Plan a journey and becoming. And then back here is just the note section. And this is where I have, I keep this with me in every planner, it's just five functional planner hacks. Um, my student schedule for the rest of this year, and then Cornell notes. So here you'll put your subject, the notes next to each subject, and a blank section at the bottom to like go more in depth of what you're writing about. Um, and that's what I have. Anyway. And then this last section, I wanted to keep this in my planner, so I put this at the back with goals. Um, the five-year plan I did, the five-year plan I did have back here because this is for goals, but because I wanted to keep that section at the front of these tabs, I'm just going to put this is goals and projects. So I have some goal sheets here, and then project sheets back here that's personal um so these are from the happy planner extension pack on the back here is a little um i got this from um hot jewels hot jewels it came in my little package um with my jewels and it i just it's sticky on the back and so it just sticks in here and i put some stickers in here that fit um, I got this from Shannon as well. She sent this as like a freebie for me. And then this pen is from Cloth and Paper. And I love this. 
I've always seen um, at home with Kita, Kita using them. And so I was when I saw that, I was so excited. So that is my classic happy planner. The other one I'm using, I have a few of them. This is just budgeting. Um, but it's the home body. I have another inbox section um, tab or divider here. And this one is thick, so this covers from the cloth and papers, or glass, it's not glass, but it's like glass plastic or something it's called. Um, one of their dividers, cloth and paper, of course, cloth and paper. Um, this is the home body planner. And then I have my bills here. Um, this is your my budget and finance planner. So this is gonna be the savings section here. Savings section. Um, I write down notes about debt and all that, and then I have passwords and resources and tools there. Um, this is the monthly view of the bills. And then um, this is just recurring payments. And then a budget section. Um, and I get down and dirty in there, so I just pin the paper, put it in there, and then I highlight this um, different sections here. Try to make sure I'm not showing too much. Um, on, the, on the back, also, it'll do a reflection. Um, and then I have like recurring bills that come out of our first check and our second check of the month. Um, I've had this for forever, like ever since I, maybe I've probably had this thing for like three years. And I've always kept it in my mini planners um, as a divider today sheet. Um, this is my July section that I have not started yet. Um, and then I go into the month. This last, that last one was June. This is this month. Um, and then we have our weekly. So I just put down the bills that are coming out that week. And then I have a daily sheet for a busy day because I'm going to take this with me. If I'm not carrying this one, I'll be carrying this one. So it's almost like double what well, is double writing but mainly in here I just put bills but if I have like a busy day I'll write it on this um, daily sheet for on the go stuff and I put one in each week but I love the home body planner because it's so simple I love this and the gold rings it's so pretty um, but I haven't been utilizing it like I should um, so I just started this budget planner maybe last month, so hopefully I start using it more. Then I just put a budget section, um, so this is what it looks like. So you have a budget sheet, and so you have 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 sections to budget. Um, and I love these sheets because you can put your total, so you have your total budget here, your actual, and the difference. Um, you put like home, personal, whatever, you know, in budget form, groceries, gas, um, and see how you're doing every month on your budget. And it's simple, love that. Reoccurring payments, uh, recurring payments, I'm sorry. Um, that's good to have, but it's not enough for me because we have a little bit more, ba more bills than this section allows. Um, and then the subscriptions down here, I don't have that many subscriptions, so I'll just move the bills down to this section and maybe I know what it means so I don't have to write it out or white it out or cover it with washi. On the back here, you can put your non-essential daily spending and it's listed 1 through 31, which is perfect because you can put the day, on that day, how much did you spend that was non-essential. Perfect. Um, and then expense log. We have two bank accounts, <clears throat> so one of them, I'll use one sheet and the other one I'll use another and I separate it like that. Even though we use them together, he, he my husband's a banker and they have to have an account with the bank um, in order to get their deposit. So, and I hate that so much because I have to work out of two accounts to do our budget. And sometimes we have to transfer the money over to this account because we have auto bills and it's ridiculous. And then we get paid two days apart every every two weeks. So after that, you have a reflection for the month, um, and then you get five weeks 
you get your priorities to um, reflect on that month, word of the month, monthly budget. Maybe this should be, well, I mean, it's a reflection, so it has to be at the back, but you have your word of the month. Maybe that's for the next month going forward. I'm not so sure. Um, so like your priorities for the following month because you're reflecting off of what happened this month So you make new priorities for the next month. That's how I'm gonna do it Word of the month monthly budget total starting debt total applied to debt paid off accounts you get one four One two four sections for that or lines for that um, Total no spend days so you can go back to this sheet that has no spend days um that go oh yeah so total no spend day so if you didn't spend anything on a certain day you can you can tally those days that you didn't spend and put it in here um, so that's good to reflect on out of 31 days how many days did you not spend and then you're ending debt so and then we go into a new month and it starts in repeats um, this is my favorite type of planning I like I like numbers um, but I'm not like a math girl or anything like that, but I do like doing my budget planning. What's next? Oops, sorry. So, um, I also received a planner from a giveaway that I won, um, from a girl named Tara on Instagram. And it's this planner. Um... Look at me trying to put my name in here, and it's like, ew. Look at that S. Horrible. But this is like total opposite. This is how I used to plan. It's very colorful. And, um, but I've evolved, you guys. So, um, this is going to be for really like social media. Um, here's this week. Thought it was so cute. But I share my, I put, you know, down what I post, how many followers I have for each account. I have an esthetician page because um, I'm a student right now. And so I can just pull out, pull all that and put it in there. And then I have one more planner that I'm using and it is my student planner. And it's the Wild Style Classic Skinny. And it's in my bag. So I'm not going to get that. But I just wanted to share with you all my lineup. Um... I didn't really think this was going to be a lineup video. I was just kind of going with the flow. But I will also go ahead and record a video, um, a plan with me video of next, not this week, but next week since I've already done this week, last night, and it didn't record right. So um, this week right here is this week coming up. So I'll just record the week after that. There we go. So anyway, thanks for stopping by my channel. And um, the surprise that I wanted to tell you all about is a giveaway that I'll be hosting at the end of this week. So stay tuned for that. I will be posting um, a, I'll be sharing it on Instagram and I will create a video of everything that um, the winner will receive. And it is a ton of stuff. I'm so excited. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done. Um, and I got some other shops involved as well. Some really... Anyway, I'm excited. I'm not going to say too much. But I just want to let you know that. So stay tuned for the next video. And I'll be sharing with you all what you will be receiving for me reaching a, a milestone of 7,500 followers on Instagram. Now it's 7,800. And 2,000 here on YouTube. So I'm so appreciative, so thankful. So I want to give back big. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great week. Bye.